Hey guys, well I have another update for you guys. Today I went to Savers, yes. I think they haven't gone to Savers in probably about another month. <laughs> I don't really haven't done a lot of shopping recently. But uh, yeah, picked up some movies at Savers, so let's see what I picked up. All DVDs, because I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever seen a single Blu-ray at Savers. Um, I don't even think I've even seen an HD DVD. So, yeah. So, to start off with, I picked up Full Time Killer. This is actually an old Blockbuster rental. I already put the receipt inside the uh, DVD case. I actually do that for a lot of all my movies. Every time I uh, buy a bunch of movies, I always, or even buy a single movie, uh, I always throw the receipt in the DVD or the Blu ray case, whatever, just so I have it. So, but uh, yeah, so at one point this was twelve ninety nine. I paid three ninety nine for it. So yeah. Uh, then next, I had to pick this up because I'm on the hunt to get all the Jackie Chan movies. So I picked up Jackie Chan: The Myth. This is another blockbuster rental. But uh, I like to, I like getting the blockbuster rentals because obviously blockbuster is not around anymore. So, but uh, yeah, definitely had to pick this one up. Love Jackie Chan. And finally, I saw all these there, and I was like, oh, this is just telling me I need to get them again. Um, I actually had these years ago, and then I decided at that point in time, I was thinking about getting rid of DVDs and going straight to Blu-ray. Well, times have changed. Um, I'll still buy Blu-ray, but I love to have the DVDs as well. So, But i um, been wanting to get these back in the collection. In fact, I already have two and three, but I wanted to get the original artwork that I had, the um, older releases. Of course, now they're all repackaged in newer releases. So. Um, and of course, sadly, the actor passed away last year. And of course, I'm talking about the Fast and Furious movies, the first three. And in fact, I actually watched Tokyo Drift. Obviously, it's funny enough because he wasn't. Uh, Paul Walker wasn't even in this movie, but uh, um, I actually watched this. I think it was a day or two before he uh, was killed, sadly. But um, yeah, um, I already have these two on DVD but it's the new artwork and everything and I wanted to get them in the original artwork so and funny enough I believe this one was when I bought it was in a blockbuster rental case so this one's in one as well so I thought that was pretty funny but uh, so yeah I have the Fast and the Furious Too Fast Too Furious and of course Tokyo Drift as well so all in widescreen all in pretty decent uh, condition um, in fact, you can't really see it, but actually behind here is where all the uh, Fast and Furious movies are. And I already have the fourth one on Blu-ray and DVD. Um, I think even the Blu-ray is actually a Blu-ray and DVD combo pack as well, but whatever. But, uh, yeah. So eventually I do actually do plan to get these on Blu-ray. I haven't done it yet. Um, but for now, I'm pretty happy with the DVDs. And uh, especially now that I got the widescreen ones and the original artwork that I used to have. So... In fact, I've been finding recently that I've actually go, been going back, and if I do come across an old edition of a movie that I had in the past, I'll pick it up again just to have it, so, because uh, I actually do kind of miss having that in the collection, so. Alrighty, guys, thank you for watching, and until the next Savers Pickups, uh, thanks for watching. See ya.